everyone welcome back to gooms tech talks channel today i have an exciting internship opportunity to share with you if you are passionate about research and innovation this might be the perfect fit for you microsoft is hiring research fellow and i'll be walking you through all the details you need to know about it so before we proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my channel so please go and subscribe here and if you want to know about the latest microsoft technologies uh, latest technologies and um, um, anything about the internship job opportunity free courses to learn and uh, add that in your resume so everything you can find it here which is the skill up and if you have any queries related to your research or your career your certification readiness or if you want to ask me anything about your technology or uh, anything related to the research you can schedule a one is to one call with me that is a, that is a personal guidance i can provide it to you so please find the link in the description so let's go to that particular uh, research fellowship okay so this is microsoft this is a microsoft internship program so i'll be leaving this link uh, i will just pin it in the comment section okay so please go and watch that so here you can see this is posted on july 17th okay that is today and here you can see you will be uh, uh, you have to you are supposed to work up to 50 percentage as a work from home you can take 50 percentage work from home and 50 percentage you have to be in the microsoft bangalore okay it's in bangalore karnataka they are recruiting for bangalore karnataka and here you can see you are an individual contributor and the discipline is research sciences which means that research applied and data science okay the profession so uh it uh, this is uh you don't need to travel like they are expecting you to be there and the employment time is internship okay so let's see the qualification here so this is what the qualification they have mentioned that is a candidate should have completed their bachelor's degree either you should have completed b b tech or bs or master degree like me m tech or ms in computer science or related area so they will be evaluating the candidates combination of including academic performances and everything so you should either complete bachelor's or you should have completed the master degree okay so this is what they have asked for and this is what the complete uh, introduction about the fellowship program and how you have to apply so this is they are they are searching for m365 research which is invites application for research fellow program the research fellows program exposes bright minds in india okay so you will be undergoing the m365 research group you will be working with them and this is the application procedure actually now what is the application procedure you have to apply with your resume at at least one letter of recommendation so what is this letter of recommendation you should get your letter of recommendation from either your um, uh, if you have completed your btec you can ask from your principal or from your hod okay or uh, those who uh, supervised you in your uh, uh, final project so you can think about those who can support you in any of these uh, uh, thing like they can write a recommendation letter for you and if you want to know how what is a recommendation letter format just leave the comment i'll be helping you the form with the format okay how to get the recommendation letter that is a sample letter and this you have to upload that recommendation letter while applying it and they are also talking about the responsibilities here so you have responsibilities to spend one to two years with m365 india team okay so they have a different projects and everything they have talked about this so you will be solving the deep theoretical problems pushing the boundaries of ai and its applications and software engineering and benefits perks listed below may be vary depending on so what the benefits and perks they'll be giving so this is the first one like uh, industry leading healthcare discount on products and services maternity and paternity leave giving programs educational resources savings and investments generous time away and opportunities to network so if you have completed they haven't mentioned that you should be a student even if you have completed that okay if you have completed b tech or m tech or computer science and if you are looking for a job you can try applying for this particular opportunity because this will give you an another perspective of how this m365 research will work okay so this is not only for the researchers this is also for the be btec me m tech students okay those who have completed that how to apply simply you have to click here apply so this is the link uh, you have to uh, apply for so once if you click apply you have to log in with your linkedin account or google account and anything it will ask you 
few set of questions okay uh, if you have linkedin please go and go and uh, log in with linkedin if you have google gmail account go ahead with that if you have my facebook account go ahead with that and i always request you to create a linkedin account or a gmail account okay where you will have you already you might have given all your details about the education details and everything it will auto uh, accept it or as you have to complete the application right from the beginning like you have to tell which courses you have done um, uh, any certifications you have done so include all the relevant information for this okay so you have to include like um, uh, what are the internship if you have completed internship during your be or btech even if you are a um, uh, if you have a break okay you might be a woman who has break you have complete you might have completed btech before two years or three Yes, but you have an urge to if you have an urge and uh, uh, you have that mindset to come back to the uh, come back to the industry then you can definitely try this give it a try okay don't worry about whether they will accept or not just try just submit your uh, uh, application this may work out okay just try this and apply here if you have any queries in the application please ping me in the comment section and also um, i'll be posting about this particular uh, 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 internship opportunities here in my uh, in my um, blog so please go and check this you can follow here i'm just leaving the uh, link in the description about the blog as well so please go and check that okay so this is what the uh, the highlighted thing is what you will be conducting a research on various domains like ai machine learning etc so if don't forget to include if you have already published any conferences like uh, published your article in a conferences or the journal or something okay so you can just go ahead and check here and apply here okay so this is what the all about this particular internship if you have any queries related to this please don't hesitate to uh, just hesitate to ask the comment ask it in the comment if you want to know about how to write uh, how to get the recommendation letter please ask me i can help you out so that's all for the today's internship spotlight if you are passionate about research or if you are passionate about microsoft if you're passionate about N365 and want to be a part of an innovative team at Microsoft, this research fellow position could be your next big career move. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more job, internship, free courses, updates and career tips. Thanks for watching and good luck with your application. Bye-bye.